Hello, and this is my bridge report for a bridge I have recently just made out of popsicle sticks and white glue. So here's my bridge. As you can see, it is very, it's a very typical railroad bridge type of bridge. As you can see, there's two side pieces on, and there's a, a j very white bearing joint in between. I've glued it from both ends. I think the weak points of my bridge are the two joints that connect the side panels onto the deck because they are very weight bearing. One of the only problems I had trying to make my bridge was attaching the side panels. This was difficult because you had to keep them upright while the glue was drying. How I think my bridge is going to do when I test it, I think it's going to do good because when I was doing some tests at home to see how strong the bridge would be if I built it like the way I did. It came out to about 20 pounds and that's with bad joints. So I think this one will hold at least 30 pounds. I think my bridge is going to fail because it's going to because the side pieces are going to break off and then the rest is just going to break with it. I also think it'll hold probably around 50 pounds. So here's the testing video. What happens is after a while the bridge, once it has 70 pounds of stress on it, literally cracks right in the middle. It just bows straight in and just implodes down the center. So, in a couple of seconds, you can see the bridge is starting to bow already. In a couple of seconds, it'll start to be pulled through. And see, it's being pulled down now. It gets pulled through right there. My bridge failed because some beams in underneath the bridge that were holding t the deck together broke, and that put a lot of stress on the on what was left of the beams, and the joints broke and the bridge snapped. I think the way I could have improved my bridge was by adding some more supports down on the deck and paying less attention to the side pieces. I also think for my side pieces, because the joints there broke also, I think that I should have strengthened the joints themselves on the side pieces by gluing them better. If I did this, I think my bridge could have held up another 10 or 20 pounds. After, after reviewing my predictions, I found that my predictions were actually wrong. My weak spot was not on the side joints, it was actually the deck itself and some of the joints there. And the side parts broke very little through my bridge, I thought they'd snap right off. Also, my bridge holding 50 pounds was also incorrect. It held at actually a total of 70 pounds, which I was quite impressed with.